everyone, hello visuals, welcome back to the Visual Guy podcast where I've just found a Pikachu and a black hat. Hello, and I found a dog and a person. Hello, Dick. Good evening. Uh, hello, visuals, I'm going to say spoiler alert, spoiler warning, because I'm going to get heavy in detail, and hopefully this uh, nutcase next to me is going to get heavy in detail as well, about the film called Venom. Venom. Um, the f- first of all, start off with thank you for the uh, the response and the review. The review did really, really fucking you well. Missed. <laughs> uh, I pew pew miss. I'm trying to focus too much on uh, what the fuck I'm trying to say. The review did really, really well, and it was enjoyable to make that review and shit like that. But uh, we're going to theorize, hypotheses, uh, talk about the cutscenes, the ending and stuff. But first, Chris, I'll shut my pie hole. Just give us the, uh, for like a couple of, you know, couple, 30 seconds a minute, of the good bits and bad bits you liked about this flick. Good bits. It was action from the spit. <laughs> <laughs> what did you like about Venom? <laughs> I enjoyed it all. Like there was one or two bits. It, it was kind of a bit too rushed together, which like, is where we disagreed on. But yeah, carry on. What? Like, how it all like for you? One minute you were like, it was there, and the next minute, six months later, you were another fucking there, and then what? <laughs> he was here six months later. He was there. Yeah. Do you not remember? Yeah, but like... Well, I don't want to give it away for the No, guys, no, I've said but... spoiler alert. I've said spoiler alert, so... It's all good. We, we, we talk about the film, because we'll even put it on the thumbnail and stuff. There will be spoilers to Venom here. Spoilers! Spoilers! So you actually... No, I, I, can't, I, I just don't understand. Because you're on about when they cover in space, and then uh, they land, crash land, all that kind of shit, and then six months later... Yeah. You're bothered about the six months? No, not just the six months, but I kind of think... Too oh. much was going on. Too much was happening in a short period of time. I think they should have like, I don't know, made it like two episodes, like two parts or something. So I, I think that's horseshit. Like, yeah. from that point there, the crash to six months on, all we need to know is there was tests being done. That's it. I don't mean just the six months of like. Tests. We we just. I mean the whole film in general. I think, fair, like say, I enjoyed the film. Mm-hmm. I had a good play through from start to end. But I think they could have extended it a bit more. Meaning, in which way though? Well, which bits, like in particular character developments, plot lines, felt rushed? Well, from him, from Venom getting into Tom to. It, like, by get time out, it means Eddie. Yeah. Yeah. By, like trying to fight him out to next minute they're like all bestie besties and working together well that's that's where I fundamentally disagree we don't need to know loads about Venom because all he is is a symbiote that enhances like, you for people like me who's not familiar with him it might have been thingy and also it's a bit again with uh, Eddie Brock it's, it's, again a storyline would have been more on him see I thought they did it perfectly both of their storylines and how their characters were with great lines about the whole start why you've left New York where you chased up where you're not left a great question mark uh, the symbiote Venom itself we learnt who he is and who he is together simultaneously and you notice the change that's in the yeah. symbiote instead of going symbiote they said symbiote I think they're just saying it because people like you have gone sick alright uh, yeah where was I a trailer for uh, yeah, and like like where Venom says, oh, my planet, I'm also a bit of a loser. And we're learning this kind of stuff simultaneously, coexisting. Like, yeah, it would have been nice to get to know that side of Ven- see, Venom and the symbiotes before. But I think in the future we will get a film based on that. It's because like, you could say that about every single film that has like a, a, like, like a Star Trek film and there's an alien race. We don't say, I would love a whole first film about their race first before we get to know them. It broke down the key points we knew about Venom really well in my eyes, straight away, of what we knew that there's a lot of different symbiotes. They only picked up four from a comet shard, this comet. Uh, we know each of them have different strengths and powers, different weapon abilities and stuff, which Venom talks about in detail. But when we're talking about right, it's like he's got a great arsenal. So we know they've all got their strengths and weaknesses. We know there's a hierarchy. That all got established. There's not much more else, you know? No, fair, fair. I can see your point in that, but it would have been nice to just do a bit, a bit more of a background. Get to know Venom before he... <laughs> before he, him, and Bro, him and Eddie became best buddies. What else do you think there is to know about Venom, Mike? I don't know, there could be other things that I don't know. Alex, he's a, he's a new person, a new character to me. 
And if I say to you, this version, this take on Venom, it gave you everything you needed to know. He doesn't sit back on his home planet and every Sunday he plays Paul. On a Monday, <laughs> he, he just chills and watches TV. He, there's not, there's just a play crazy symbiote planet. Crazy shit. That's it. Or maybe maybe not a full-on film, mm. but maybe maybe even like a, a, a little, I don't know, a, a little intro to like where they are, where these symbiotes are to fucking... Before we just see them in a ship to so get be take, taken to Earth. You want an origin story of just pure Venom? I wouldn't have a full-on, like, three-hour or two-hour full-on story, but maybe just something small. To... Yeah, so I fundamentally disagree with you. I genuinely can't see how you how you feel it, like. Oh, great, I'm, I'm happy that you disagree, because at least we're fucking having a, a conversation about the likes and don't likes. But I genuinely don't see how you can't see it. I thought if you didn't know Venom or who he was or what he's capable of, I thought this film laid it out perfectly. And like, what they said from becoming Get Out of Me and whatever else, all that, to like Best Buddies that Save the Planet. Because uh, the, like... the realisation of what Venom can do and what's needed to be done. Because we saw Eddie Brock, he said all this Get Out of Me and shit like that, didn't we? Because of uh, uh, he was done with life, he was done with everything. This marriage was engagement shit his thing he's gone uh, but then when he has the realisation of actually you know I am a good guy I need to find out what's going on inside this building he realised in that instant I need to use this symbiote that's why he wasn't challenging it all the way through the film he had that change of heart where he'd sat on the bridge looking over you know, the fucking sunset and that in the background he looks at the guy he's like I actually am a good guy this symbiote contains some great ways for me to take down the real bad guy Change yeah. your heart. There's a Yugo card called Change Your Heart, which literally describes the shit you from one point of the battlefield to the other, just like that. It's little moments of details and storytelling and a screenplays that write it like that. We know Eddie Brock is a is a guy in this film that's just done with life and done with shit, and he's like, ah, fuck it. And then he finds his core essence and his true ability uh, and his true meaning as a human and as a good guy to realize he's not the bad guy. He once spent his whole career taking down the bad guys. I now have this power to do it. I've changed my mind. You know how sometimes you'll be hungry. Oh, I fancy a Burger King or whatever. Oh, actually, no, actually, I fancy a fucking Frank now. You know, shit like that happens in life constantly. It's a quick change of heart. So I thought the way that it flipped the flipped the lid. We had the symbiosis uh, synchronization to. Uh, I've got these immense powers now. Let's just go. Let's go do what needs to be done. Hmm. I'd say. I think. It, it, it... I'd say I enjoyed the film. I'm not trying to change no, your mind no, no, no. here. If you if you think that they've I rushed do, it, then I that's fine. I think it's allowed, it was a little bit rushed and I would have liked to see a bit more of the, the origin of the symbiotes before we were just jumping on a ship heading back to Earth. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's, that's fair enough. Um, but like I said, apart from that, I enjoyed the film. Because uh, um, my, my, my last criticism to that point then would be if you wanted what's going on there to this we would have had the exact same story, but they would have had to have rushed the outcome. So you would have had a nice, well-thought-through story of where the symbiotes come from, who they are, which one's true identity really is, and then we'd have had, like, 45 minutes of shit. Get the thing, get the battle, get the film done. No, like I say, I, I'm not expecting, like, an hour of getting to know the the uh, the symbiotes. They just, like, a, a five, ten minute intro just to figure out who they were, where they were from, to... So if you wanted five ten minutes, I can guarantee they already did that. But it, it kind of didn't because you, you just kind of started on a ship, ploughing into Earth. That's what it's all about, though. Yeah, but they didn't. Fair enough, they said they got the they got the symbiotes from a, a meteor. Yeah, but that, that was it. So that that because that's like like Transformers did it. We know Optimus is from you know we're a different planet. There's there's other primes and shit like that. Uh, but we didn't have that big lingering question of, I need to know more about these Primes because I knew that was a question mark safe for later. We know enough about Prime, the Autobots ready to go, but we've still got this question mark of a storyline we can go back to later. Okay. Anyway, like I said, I'm not trying to change your mind. If no. you if, if that's your thoughts, that's just fucking great. You've got a good little take on it. Um, but uh, yeah, so yeah, the thoughts, did you, overall you liked it though. I enjoyed the film, yeah. yeah. It was... It's not as bad as what people... No, pe- people was. were way, way fucking harsh and that they said it was too goofy and stuff, which is what I criticised at first. I was like, Venom's always had a weird, quirky-ish sort of sense of humour, but he's never been like, ah, oh, uh, pussy, uh, and all this other shit. Oh, you need to... And then I was like, I'm going to say, this is a different version of Venom. I need to separate what the comic books do with him to what the big screen does mm. with him. And this is what the direction they're going for. Fuck it, I'm going to have a funny Venom. I like that. 
But uh, yes, the cut scene where I nearly grabbed Chris's penis a million times, where we see uh, Woody Allen, Woody, Woody Allen, Woody Harrison, uh, and I was like, "Oh my God, we're getting carnage, boy!" Carnage, carnage the uh, carnage. red symbiote. It's all kicking off. It's all crazy. But the after, the after, after cut scene, the big one that fucking blew my dick off mm. was the. Meanwhile, in another universe, in a film which you do not look asked about whatsoever, <laughs> uh, uh, sp- the uh, the Spider Verse shenanigans. How come we don't look asked about that? Do you reckon? Is it just because it's Spider Man? I don't think it's fucked. It's Spider Man. It's just I don't know. Mm-hmm. Just you're just not keen on the look of it. I'm not. Yeah, it looks good, but I'm not mm. like. Knocking one off for it. <laughs> Knocking one off for it. Thank you. Hey, it's fair enough. Well, I, I've uh, if if you would actually finally fucking sit down and fucking read, I would lend you. <laughs> I would lend you the uh, the the Spider Verse stuff that's fucking amazing. But yeah, we see Miles seeing uh, I'm, Peter I'm more Parker's a film person than a book person. Oh, 100 percent, hundred percent. You haven't read. Uh, it's only four issues. Uh, but uh, Hawkeye versus Deadpool. Yeah. You still haven't read no. that. Uh, it'll, it'll, uh, it's probably not even a bookshelf, is it? It's probably just in a drawer. It's me draw. Yeah, I thought so. Um, hashtag, please appreciate your comic books. Um, we it's in a safe draw. It's, a, it's not buried or anything. It's in me draw. We, Plus, it's in me TV cabinet. We see Miles Morales uh, looming over Peter Parker's grave. And you're like, Peter Parker's grave? What? In the ultimate version, um, the Green Goblin killed Spider-Man, Peter Parker. But we... We've got our Peter Parker in our world. Because I think that's how they're connecting all the Sony shit and acknowledging other universes, which in turn will acknowledge the MCU in case Sony are like, right, let's give Venom back to the MCU. It's left a mint gateway open for it. Because like I said, it's the writing. You've got to look out for the writing as well. Maybe it should be sometimes, actually. Do you think the will do? All depends. Oh, yeah, I think eventually whether... Well, obviously, you, we've got fucking what you, Carnage next. See... What I said to you on the way home, though, they could get away with. They never want to have Spider Man in this in this universe of Venom. Venom will be our Spider Man, and Carnage will be our Venom because in this, Venom is a straight up good guy. Eddie's able to control it and stuff like that, and say these are the good points, bad points. So Venom will be our Spider Man. But how do you think they're gonna bring it into it? Because obviously Eddie's left, got kicked out of New York. Bring, bring so, what into it? Spider Man? If they did, yeah. Oh, if they did, it's easy, easy enough because he could have been kicked out of New York for a number of reasons. So all they need to do is they, they just need to show Eddie going over to New York for whatever a story, a chase or whatever. Or maybe he's got a report. He's doing a report on the Avengers or, or you know, some shit like that. And then Spider-Man comes. His, he'll be, or Peter Parker will be near him. His spider sense will tingle because he can realize his threat inside Venom because he can't see it, but his spider sense will let him know. And he'll just assume, boom, that's a bad guy. So there's a number of reasons you you can have Eddie, or you can have uh, Peter Parker go in there on a school trip. He's over in um, yeah, San Francisco mm. on a school trip. There's a number of million ways you could do it, like. Mm, I suppose. Yeah, uh, but like I said, even if they don't, I really want to see it happen. I want to see Tom Hardy versus Tom Holland. That would be beautiful. Um, but going back to Carnage, how would you think this one's gonna play out? Ah, uh, well, like I said, if they're gonna have the same origin with the blood fusion with the symbiote or not, because. The way he was looking at Eddie Brock, it's as if he already knew something. So maybe, because um, did we have all the symbiotes accounted for at the at, at the end fully? Mm, yeah. Because sure. Carnage is made from Venom. So if they're going to do some sort of weird shenanigans there, like if, or if Eddie Brock, sorry, Chris, are you about to say a point there? I'll shut up in a sec. Uh, if Eddie's going to, this is like a story he's doing. If he's going to keep going back to the, the prison to do this story. For those who don't know who Carnage is and how we can... Woody Harrison gets involved. Do you want to... Let us all know! Cletus, Cletus Cassidy, who we see at the end, is a social... Pa- sorry, no, I won't even say social path. I'll say psychopath. He is a general psychopath. He's a murderer, a rapist, everything. And his blood gets fused with uh, the, a bit of the Venom symbiote causing another symbiote to be called Venom. That's because we all carnage. So you get this symbiote, which is crazy and angry and mental, taking over an already crazy, mental, angry guy. Yeah. So there is Cletus Cassidy... And Carnage wrapped up. See, I think we should do a Cletus Cassidy film before we get a Venom Carnage film. Oh, so oh we've only got a couple of seconds left. I completely disagree with that. But, um, well, okay. We can stop this and do a part two. <sighs> and then I can upload up and we can edit this well. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> right, yeah. Visuals. Uh, yeah. Oh, no, because we need to do a sign-off. Fuck. Um... Uh, right, guys, we're doing a part two because <laughs> yeah. we realised we're out of time. Yeah. So, 
yeah, we'll upload the next video soon. Yeah, keep it, keep on, keep it on. Love you, bye.